Hi, my name is Doug Gorlai, Vice President of Marketing here at Arista Networks. I'm joined today by Jeff Hirschman, Vice President of Hardware Engineering and Manufacturing, to talk to us about a new member of the Arista family. Jeff, can you give us a quick introduction to the Arista 7050? The 7050 is a new member of our Switch family. It's uh, based on the Broadcom Trident Plus chipset, and it uh, implements 48 SFP Plus plus four QSFP ports uh, for a total of 64 ports. So it's 64 ports of 10 gig switched, routed, and with access control lists. All the way through. Wow, that's, that's a lot of density. Yeah, it's a, nice, uh, it's a nice box. So Jeff, over the last few months, I've seen several companies release 48 port 10 gig with four QSFP uplinks, uh, also based on the Broadcom Trident chipset. What is it that makes the 7050 unique then? Well, what we see our other, what we see our competitors coming out with are uh, switches based on the Trident chipset. And uh, while that's a good chip, uh, just a few months later, Broadcom's coming out with Trident Plus, which doubles the size of most of the interesting tables. Um, and so while uh, I can see how if I was shipping only 24 port switches, or if I had uh, switches that had three microseconds or more of latency, I would be very compelled to get a, uh, a Trident-based product out as quickly as possible. We felt that if we came out with a Trident-based product, it would just be a few months later when we'd, be, when we'd have to come out with Trident Plus. And it's just, it's just a better product. Um, we've been shipping products with 48 ports for over two years now. And in fact, our current 7100 line actually has uh, better latency characteristics than this box does. So there's no reason for us to rush Trident out when we see Trident Plus as just being a, a superior product. So to summarize, we're in a really fortunate situation because Arista has been shipping 48 port 10 gig density products for over two years to the market. And that afforded us the opportunity to look at the breadth of chipsets coming up to available and identify which ones made the best sense for our customers. And then in this case, we selected the Broadcom Trident Plus chipset, which increases the density of host routes and routing table overall in the system, meaning a more scalable switch at the same price points and densities as some of our competitions already been shipping. Excellent. Jeff, can we, uh, can we crack the covers and kind of go, can you kind of give me the tour of the switch? You bet. All right. So Jeff, what can you tell me about the, this front section of the switch and this giant heat sink here? Well, this front section is what we call the switch card for obvious, obvious reasons. And under that giant heat sink is the Trident Plus chip that we've been talking about. Um, one thing that you won't see on this switch card that we expect most of our competitors to have is a strip of physical layer chips that sit in between the uh, Trident Plus chip and the connectors. So I did notice that you're missing yeah, somewhere between 12 and 48 surface mounted components in here I'm kind of used to seeing. That's exactly right. So we found that after uh, working closely with Broadcom and analyzing the signal integrity that we could actually drive the front panel ports directly from the Trident Plus chip and take the FIs out of the, uh, out of the equation. The nice things about that are that the FIs themselves actually add latency to the box. And while this is never going to be our lowest latency uh, application at Arista, we're very sensitive to latency. Definitely. Are, are there any other uh, benefits of not having a, going to a phyless design? Definitely. Um, phys are a huge source. Of, uh, they're a huge sink of power. They actually pull a, a large, uh, a large percentage of a typical switch's power. And there's just a lot of components associated with all these phys. Uh And when you add components, you add potential failure modes. So you're telling me that by going to this phyless design, it's lower power lower latency, lower cost, and better reliability. That's right. Um, let's move forward to the, this front section. What can you tell me about what we've done up here? Well, we've got our 48 SFP Plus connectors, and again, our current customers will be very familiar with that and the, the selection of, uh, of different media options that SFP offers that you were describing earlier. Um, in addition, we've added these four QSFPs, and the QSFPs uh, can be configured either as 40 gig ports or as uh, four t each one can be configured as four 10 gig ports. And we can support those either with uh, passive copper, uh, passive copper similar to the SFP solution, or uh, if we plug in optical transceivers, we can use uh, them either as 40 gig links or we can use uh, optical splitter cables, uh, really uh, octopus cables, uh, and break those out into standard LC connectors that again we plug, can very easily plug into an SFP. So this gives us a full 64 10 gig ports if you want to configure it that way. So these 48 SFP pluses can be 1 gig and 10 gig, 
these QSFPs give me 10 gig or 40 gig, so I can get 40 ports of 1 gig, 10 gig here, and either 16 ports of 10 or 4 ports of 40. That's right. And every port can be switched or routed and have wire speed access control list and multicast and all that forwarding goodness. Absolutely. All right. Well, Jeff, I'd like to thank you for your time today and giving this uh, really one of the most in-depth tours of a, a hardware platform I've ever seen. And to the audience, thank you for joining us and spending some time to learn about the Arista 7050 series.